ဒီဟာလဲပြီးတော့ပြီးပေါ့เนาะဒီဟာဆိုတာကွာကွာဒီဗီဒီယိုနဲ့ပတ်သက်ပြီးတော့ပေါ့အဲ့လိုဆို
Okay, expenditure receipt accumulation, accumulation, decumulation, prepayment, this holiday. Accumulation, did I spell that right? Yes. Um, this is a conceptual framework and it's completely uh, inclusive. You know, every transaction is going to fit into one or the other of these categories. It's meant, it's meant to be inclusive. It's not leaving, leaving anything out. Okay, it's either uh, and 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 it will. So you can use this. The, the value of this framework is that you can use this to sort your way through pretty complicated kinds of transactions. Okay, and the and the rules that order how you sort your way through this. Okay, are two, two rules. Rule one: all accounting is based on some rules of consistency. Okay, and rule one is that. Every, every, every use has a corresponding source and vice versa. Every use has a corresponding source and vice versa. That is to say, you can't buy a good, okay, you can't buy a financial asset, you can't repay debt, you can't accumulate cash balances without it coming from somewhere. That's all it's saying, okay? And if it's coming from somewhere, it has to go somewhere. So that's the vice versa part, okay? So that's all it's saying. The other, the other rule, which is what allows us to turn this into macroeconomics, okay, is that every agent's use is some other agent's source and vice versa. Every agent's use is some other agent's source. This is, this is actually kind of deep, okay? That the, that the economy as a whole, every time I get a receipt, it's somebody else's expenditure, right? I'm selling a good, somebody's buying a good. So that's the sense in which source, my source is somebody else's use. If I'm buying a financial asset, I'm buying it from somebody, they're selling it. And so you see how that all works. And once you appreciate this, you, see, you start to see the economy as this web of, of where, depending on whether you're looking from my point of view or your point of view, everything, everything is connected. You know, and you can follow it all, 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 all along. Okay, but you the money. Okay, but you the money. Okay, but ตันนาโอเคอารมณ์ปีนี้สอสายอ่ะเนาะอะแมนแมนเนาะตัวดีมาตัวเปียวขึ้นนะบ่เนาะดีมาโฟล์ออฟแฟนอะคาวส์ซ
ตัวเบสดาแล้วอะไรเหมียวเบสดาตัวเอ่อดีอีกคนเนี่ยเบสดาล่ะอะไรก็มันเหมียวเลยตัวเจ้าเราบ้างดูมาเลยไอ้เจ
ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ดีใส่แกมาไม่ใช่น่ะเลยสิอะไรคงเลยบ่เอาเลยบ่วิวอ่ะเปลี่ยนชิ้นเปล่าเลยอ่ะบ่เน
，电话嘛。เออเมื่อเช้าก็ชิบเอาโอเคเออเดี๋ยวเราขึ้นมาหัวกูเปลี่ยนว่าจะรู้ว่าเราจะเป็นเอกลักษณ์ที่เขาเรียกว่าจิ
အဲ့လိုက်ဆိုနေပါစာအောင်မဖတ်တယ်ရောလေဒီမဖတ်အောင်ဒီကဘယ်လိုလဲမတိရောလာတယ်တို့ဘယ်လိုပဲကိုခံ
accepting my IOU and issuing its own IOU, which you accept. I'm going to call this third party a bank. Now I've used M, even though this is a liability of the bank and it comes from nowhere. It's, it's an expansion of the balance sheet. So just like in the pure credit economy, there's an expansion of the money supply, there's an expansion of credit in order to facilitate this transaction. There's more money because money is a form of credit actually in this world. It's a liability of the bank. So that's why it expands and, and contracts as, balance, as, as, as the uh, patterns of trade uh, move. Right. All baby stuff. Okay. but some deep and puzzling economics under, underneath that. This, of course, is, is much more like the modern economy. Okay, the mod, the modern econ this is how the modern economy works, okay, in, in a very stripped down, simplified way. Oh, Bobby, oh, Bobby. Hey, Linnea, let me ဒီတခါအဲလက်စ်ကမောင်လေးထောင်ခန့်ကိုအရင်ဆုံးရှင်းပြခိုင်မှာတော့စဉ်းစားကြည့်တယ်ပေါ့နော်ပြီးပို
ပြင်ခဲ့ခြင်းတရားနဲ့တရားဝါကတာသူ့လည်းငါးရင်နေတယ်ငါးကိုလည်းသူရင်နေတယ်တရားတရားတိရဲ့လည်းနေတော့သူ
ตะคันตะคันเว้ยมั้ยตะคันตะคันเว้ยมั้ยโอ้ตะติ๊กตะท่องตะเนี่ยทาบาตัวอิงโตตัวเอ่ออีโนต้องเสียยากายโนเปม
the child will be the child will go. Have been looking. I said that you should see me about my new. Ah, ah, that one. I said that the trust man, man, or trust in she boy, yeah, 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 Jadi ni ada transaksi ni semua macam ni, mami. Kau dah tahu. Tapi ni belajar tu nak cari labi ni, so. Bang, kita ni bang tu ya, kau dah ingat so di dalam tu cari labi tu. Kau lembih yang nak, di lembih yang nak. Jangan orang pernah nikmati ni so. Kalau orang tu makan tu, mana kau si pos itu transaksi, orang tu no break tu 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 cuci tuan. Orang tu no kau sesi tu lah. Ada rujuk dia mana? Bank rent ni cuci tu. Orang tu no cuci lah. Ada apa dia nak? Kau ikut orang tu. Ijan tu kai dia mana? Orang tu no ni. So di how di panas itu sesi ni ulung. Kau tu yang ada ni ni di ni. Kau orang tu no kau kau si pos itu ni jadi company ni ada di mana sesi ni ada. Malu di investor ya desa sana ya me. Bila ada cawo, no, di tasik orang yang sini. Bila ada cawo, no, foreign investor. Atau luar di panas desa sana, mesti dia pilih dulu, no. Supaya dah luar, luar je. Nenek isu sana, nenek jangan wala semua gua. Ini nengen dulu luar makau, no, di perlu di perlu di luar jual lah. Me, ada nanti pilih lah, apa nak nengen, no. Di ha, ada di banyak ini papa, no. Di mana tu di banyak di mana mana di mana tu makau, no, makau tu, nenek terus terus dia, no. Di banyak central bank, no, di government, no, di Pada jenis sistem belak kau kau anda 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 juga mende sebab belak ye pale sebab itu cuba jalan lah, no. Tapi belak kau kau sistem macam ini susah ini, awak kau hari kalau kau kau macam tu mahu, no. Ada lebih macam ni. Hobi, buat apa? Nasehat sih ni susah ni. Di kuli tu apa ni? Di di sebelah ni elas di jam berapa ni? Elas tu. Kau mahu apa? Di di bian luar. Di di kuli bian luar, no. Di ni lor di di hari di ni kuli bian luar. Nenek lemin ni nanti mesti ayam jauh. Kau di ni lor dari bian luar, no. Ada di bawah mana? Kuna ada mana yang kau dah ambil? Ada kuna di disiplin yang elastik, elastik sedikit ambil. Ada di mana sahaja. Credit versus versus quantity. This is about discipline versus underlying this point. The, the reason I'm emphasizing this point about expansion of credit versus versus strict quantity. This is about discipline versus elasticity. Okay, this is the concrete place where, where it is. So you can imagine that, and, uh, and I put this in the notes here, you can imagine thinking about a world in which there's a fixed quantity of money here. A fixed quantity of money, and at any moment in time, um, we can therefore describe who has the money by a point. So this is time here. And there's a pattern of trade between you and me, and it goes like, you know, like this, as we're as we're trading, that this is your your money balances, and this is my money balances. And so when I, when when my money balances are going up, that's because I'm selling some goods to you. When my money balances are going down, that's because you're you're selling goods to me. But the total money isn't changing. Total money isn't changing. If there's not very much money. Okay, then people run out of money, okay? And some, some transactions that, that we want to make are impossible to make because you don't have the money to make them. That's discipline. Okay. Similarly, you know, if, if, if it were here. The pure credit economy, we could think of it as starting at zero instead of starting at a half of the money supply. And similarly, there could be some, let's see if I can copy that a little bit. Okay. This is zero here in the pure credit economy. And let's just put, and you can see that in this economy, um, this is maybe my credit limit here. And maybe this is your limit here. Okay. That uh, this is me borrowing from you, this is you borrowing from me, this is me borrowing from you, on net, back and forth. And so the transactions involve, and sometimes there's no credit, right? Here, along zero, the credit all goes down to zero, and sometimes it expands in order to facilitate transactions. So there's expansion and contraction of, of credit in the course of, of, of uh, the pattern of payments. There's no expansion or contraction of money, here, there's just shifting from one pocket to another. If we don't, if neither of us is willing to uh, lend or borrow to the other because we don't trust each other, um, then we could have the bank here describing this. This is my limit. The bank is willing to lend me up to this, 
but I'm actually willing to lend the bank, you know, any amount of money, conceivably, a lot more than you, you know, a lot more than I would lend to you. Uh, so I can build up positive balances very large, um, and uh, and the bank can do business with many people as well at the same time. So this tri this multilateral this multilateral system is a is a credit system. So th this is the first point to emphasize. That, and we're going to go into this in more detail with actual instruments and Fed funds and all that sort of thing. But understanding that the payment system is a credit system, okay, not a money system, and that it has to be a credit system in order to have sufficient elasticity to ensure that people who want to make mutually advantageous trades are able to make mutually advantageous trades, even if none of them have money at the moment. They don't have any gold or the thing that's fixed in quantity, the discipline thing. Okay, credit is necessary in order to facilitate elasticity in the, in the system. And so when you go look at the actual system, expect to find credit there. It's going to be there. We're, we're, going to, we're going to see it. Sometimes it doesn't look like credit. ဒါခုနအဲ့ဒါဆိုနေတဲ့ဒစ်ကက်ရှင်တိုင်းမှာပဲသူအရင်တော့များဝါရမှာခုနအတွက်ဘာတော့ဒစ်စစ်ပလိ
ဒီမန်နီစပလိုင်းကလောက်ရှိတာဖြစ်တဲ့အတွက်ရဲ့လိုမောင်းလေးမှာများနေရဲ့လိုမောင်းလေးမှာပစ္စည်းဝင်ရ
ตาตุบ้านลุลุยาเลยบ่เนาะตุมาอะไรหลอเลยอ่ะตุคั่นจุกทาเปยตุโลดูลุยาเลยสวาเลยกว่าอะไรบ่งันจนนี่เนเน่
ဒီနေ့ဆိုတာကွာဒီခုနအဲ့လိုဆိုအိတ်ဇဘယ်တစ်သေးတီတစ်ခုပြောရဆိုရင်ဒီတလောကလုံးမှာမှာလေးနဲ
okay? It's a liquidity constraint problem that you need every period, you need to have some kind of means of payment. You need cash inflow equal or greater than your cash outflow or else you can't, you can't make the cash outflow. So there's an issue of balance between cash inflow and cash inflow uh, and cash outflow. And in particular, cash inflow greater than your cash commitments. Promises you've made to make payments. Promises you've made, for example, to repay debts. Okay. If you can't repay your debts with the cash that's coming in, okay, then you default and you do not survive. It doesn't matter if you have lots of wealth, if you have no cash, if you can't pay the debt, then you default and you are out of business. This is the liquidity constraint. Liquidity kills you quick. Mm. You hear that more than once in this class. Solvency, as a bank, you can go on for a long time, okay, doing business, even if you are insolvent. Many banks mm. do. You cannot survive for one day if you are illiquid. Okay. And so from if we adopt the point of view that everyone is a bank, okay, this is the thing that focuses the mind. Okay, it's the liquidity constraint, okay, not the not the budget constraint. Oh, Bobby, be a little bit ဒီဟာလေးဘယ်ဘယ်ဖြည့်ဖြည့်ခြင်းနဲ့ပြောကြည့်ပါဘာဒီဟာလေးလို့ထင်မှာတလဲဒီဟာလေးကိုဒီ
ตะเลนเนี่ยเปลี่ยนลงยาขึ้นมาเนี่ยมาก็อะกูเลยเสียดีอะกูเหนียวดีฟินแลนเชียลครายซิสเรียสซนาริโอส่วนทุกวันเน
ဒီလိုက်ကိုပါအဲ့လိုက်ကိုပါအဲ့လိုက်ကိုပါအဲ့လိုက်ကိုပါအဲ့လိုက်ကိုပါအဲ့လိုက်ကိုပါအဲ့